Hey y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your lace to look like scalp. Okay, right, so the hair that I'm using in this video comes from Yolissa or Yolisa. I think it's Yolissa Hair Company. It's actually already a unit, so it is a wig. It's like a frontal wig. Um, the whole front you are allowed you know to part the hair however you like it and then the back is just regular you know wig <laughs> it's like a regular wig so i'm just showing you how it pretty much came packaged and everything it came with it came with an elastic band and a wig cap so pretty much all of my advice and tips that i give out about wigs i definitely include it on my instagram page wigs by ebony so today we're achieving the scalp look and these are pretty much the four major things that i um look for or that i do to make the lace look like scalp so we're going to pretty much start off by bleaching the knots so i love to use my bw2 powder and i like to use my 30 volume developer i love this stuff um i've tried the quick blue and i, I just i didn't like it so i just stick to what i know um i pretty much eyeball it at this point i eyeball <laughs> the amount of bleach and developer that i use so if you want to go back and pause it or slow the video down to see how many scoops i use feel free but at this point i pretty much eyeball everything um, i'm just going to mix it up and then i'm going to start applying the bleach onto the lace And once I'm done applying the bleach to the lace, I do flip it over onto the aluminum foil. That way it can process quicker. Now I did leave the bleach on here about seven or eight minutes and then I did rinse out um, the bleach and I washed the I washed the wig off camera but what I did use when I do wash the bleach out of the hair I do use a neutralizing shampoo pretty much to stop the chemical process um, that you know to keep the stop the hair from further bleaching and then I like to go back and actually tone the knots with purple shampoo so yes tone your knots with purple shampoo so your knots does not have that brassy look so this is pretty much the wig um right after i pretty much washed it out and what i'm doing is parting it in the middle part because that's how i want the hair to be parted <laughs> um one thing i will say i did not have to pluck the front of the wig at all um it came pre-plucked it was actually plucked very very nicely so that's one part that you don't have to worry about when it comes to getting your um, lace, your wig to look very natural and to look like scalp. So once you section off your part, whether it's a middle part, side part, or however you want it, I always advise that you actually go in with tweezers and pluck out each individual strand that is inside of the part. It just makes everything look a thousand times cleaner and better um it really makes your part look more realistic because even though we bleach the knots we bleach we when you bleach the knots you are changing it from black to a light brown and light brown is still a color that is noticeable to the eye so you still want to remove that knot from you know from your part so right now i'm pretty much just kind of combing the hair back you know just to kind of get it nice and sleek um, and then I'm going to start with the next part of the process. The next part will be to actually tint the lace and get the lace more brown. Because right now, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it is this is transparent lace. So what I'm showing you um, is two different ways to actually change the color of the lace. You can either use a lace tint spray 
or you can use makeup. This is actually a contour kit. Um, I typically use both the middle and the last, the darkest shade. So, so yeah, and that is, that is actually, um, by Black Radiance, their true contour palette. And I got that from Walmart. So yeah, I'm pretty much showing you how transparent the lace is. Our skin is not this color. <laughs> so we got to get the lace, the color of our skin. So what I did, I did put a Walmart bag over my canvas head because I don't want my canvas head to... Um, turn brown from the lace tints. So I went ahead and put a Walmart plastic bag over my canvas head to protect it. And then I sprayed the lace tint all over the lace. So you definitely want to fully saturate the lace with the lace tint. And then I pretty much went behind it with a blow dryer to make sure it's nice and dry. So after it dried, I realized it was not dark enough. So I decided to try to go back in it with lace tint, but I realized I'm actually out of the lace tint spray. So the little bit that I did spray on there, I went ahead and dried it, but then I realized I need to use makeup because the tint is not quite the color that, the lace is not quite the color that I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go in with those two colors and I'm just going to apply it all over the lace. Okay. So I'm just going to apply it all over the lace until it's a more of a brown color. Um, and then I'm just going to flip the wig back over and style the wig. I'm just going to comb the wig back. I'm going to apply Nairobi. I think that's how how you pronounce it i'm gonna apply the nairobi um, mousse to it and then also a little bit of eco styler gel just to get the edges nice and sleek and just slick and laid back and then i'm gonna let it air dry and i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like Right, so I let the wig air dry for about a good hour and this is pretty much what it looks like as you guys can see look at that hairline it looks so freaking natural and it looks just like scalp okay I'm gonna take it off of the mannequin head and put it against my skin that way you guys can kind of see uh, what it looks like it looks extremely natural okay <laughs> Um, thumbs up this video if you think it looks extremely natural because I definitely feel like it looks extremely natural and now I'm pretty much just putting a wig on that way you guys can actually see now I will not be cutting the lace off or anything in this video because I'm thinking about including this wig in my giveaway so I am very close to reaching 40,000 subscribers and I figured this wig would be nice to feature in the giveaway so I did not want to cut the lace okay I did not want to cut the lace but yeah these are pretty much just my techniques that I use to make the lace look realistic and to make it look exactly like scalp because right now i feel like it looks super realistic if you think it looks super realistic please let me know in the comments down below i would greatly appreciate your feedback okay and even when i put my hand on the lace i actually take my hand and cover up the bottom of the lace it literally looks like the lace is actually cut 
like it looks like the lace is actually cut okay <laughs> so thanks for watching this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and until next time